Before making the real-time GPS tracker, I had thought about using the Plink application. You can see I have purchased the Maker plan. However, even in this plan, the Map widget is not available. The Map widget is available in the Pro plan. If we click on this I button, you can see that the Map is a Pro widget and it is only available in the Pro plan. And the Pro plan's monthly subscription is $99 per month, which is very expensive. No sensible person would ever purchase such an expensive plan just for GPS tracking unless he is a businessman. If you provide services to people, then you can purchase this plan because with the Pro plan, you can set up an entire organization. But for personal use, it's way too expensive. So I dropped the idea of using the Blink application for real-time GPS tracking because we can do real-time GPS tracking in Adafruit as well and that too for free. My hardware setup is completely ready. In the previous video, I explained in great detail how to make this ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth-based development board for the SIM 7600G4G LTE module. In that video, I practically demonstrated how to control a 220-volt AC bulb each time I would send a command to turn on or turn off the bulb, the ESP32 would also send me a feedback message, obviously with the help of SIM 7600G 4G LTE module. I made this board with certain things in mind. Let me explain it one by one and then you can decide for yourself whether you should make this board or not. First, you can remove the SIM 7600G if you want to use this board in a location where Wi-Fi is already available. You can use it in your office or home to control different loads or to remotely monitor sensors. I will explain this in one of my upcoming videos. Today, we will use it as a real-time GPS tracker. Second, the power supply on this board is quite powerful. It's a 5-fold in 3 amps power supply. Using this power supply, we can easily power up all these onboard components, including the SIM 7600G GSM module. And not only that, we can also power up other sensors and breakout boards using the same power supply. Third, you can see on the left and right sides of the ESP32, I've added female headers in case if someone wants to monitor some sensors along with GPS tracking or wants to control their cars, doors, or ignition. Fourth, on this board, you can see that I have not used any DC socket. You can attach 12 volt and ground wires over here. The advantage of this is that you can easily use it in any waterproofed enclosure. The power supply on this board can take up to 28 volts input, which means you can power it up using your car's battery. I will practically demonstrate this when I track my car. Anyway, you can also power up this board with a solar panel. Fifth, I have also added a relay on this board which you can use to completely disconnect your car or any vehicle's computer system if someone tries to steal your car. To be more specific, you can use it as an anti-theft switch. Sixth, on this board I have also added terminals for the A02 YUW waterproof ultrasonic sensor. So you can use this ultrasonic sensor for car parking and also as an extent avoidance system. When a car comes too close, you can turn on an indicator or a buzzer. How do you like this board? Let me know in a comment. I have to make many projects using this board, so consider subscribing if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. If you don't want to make this board, you can use this ready-made IoT development board, which is based on the ESP32 and SIM 7600G 4G LTE module. I have already used it as a GPS tracker in my previous video. In that video, I used to request the GPS location through SMS. The controller would send me Google's map URL. I was amazed by its GPS tracking and accuracy. It pinpointed my car's location accurately. And then I used my cell phone's GPS to track and find my car's location in just a few minutes. Its GPS antenna is so powerful that it can connect to the GPS satellites within two minutes, even when it's inside a room. Today, we will test the GPS antenna of the SIM 7600G 4G LTE module in the same way. We will see if it can connect to the GPS satellites from inside a room. And this time, instead of requesting the location through SMS, I will track the car location in real time and then I will go and find it. But before doing all this, first let's set up the Adafruit map. While you are logged into your registered account on the io.adafruit.com and while the IO tape is selected, click on the feeds and then click on the new feed. Write the name. Click on the create button. Go to the dashboards and click on the new dashboard. Write the dashboard name. Open the dashboard. Click on dashboard settings and create new block. 
Search for the MAPE block and add it. Select the feed name and click on the next step button. Write the block title. Select the light mode MAPE type is for your needs and select the dark mode MAPE type. Finally, click on the create block button. Again, go to the dashboard settings and this time click on the edit layout. Resize the MAPE. Click on the save layout. Click on the API key. Copy the username. Open the program which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com and paste it over here. Next, copy the active key. And paste it over here. Again, copy the username and paste it over here. Finally, you can upload this program. In my case, I have already uploaded this program, so let's go ahead and start the practical demonstration. Our hardware setup is already complete. As you can see, I have inserted the SIM card, the GPS antenna is connected, and the full band LTE antenna is also connected. And as you know, this is the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. So let's go ahead and power up this GPS tracking system and see if the GPS antenna will connect to the GPS satellites from inside this room. Let's go ahead and connect it to the laptop. The green LED started to blink which means the SIM 7600 GGSM module is now connected to the network. And now we will see how much time the GPS antenna will take to connect to the GPS satellites. For this, I'm going to open the serial monitor on my laptop. It's been two minutes and still I can't see the longitude and latitude values. Let's wait for another five to eight minutes. It took almost five to six minutes to connect to the GPS satellites and now you can see the latitude and longitude values. Last time when I used the SIM 7600GH4G LTE module, it connected to the GPS satellites within two minutes, whereas the SIM 7600G module took around six minutes which is still I think is great because I have tested other GPS modules which even take more than 30 minutes and some of them would not even connect to the satellites. Anyway, the ESP32 sends the latitude and longitude values to the Adafruit MAP and then enters into the sleep mode and then again wakes up and sends the latitude and longitude values to the Adafruit MAP. You can change the sleep duration in the programming. Right now the sleep duration is 5 seconds. This is the Adafruit map and you can see we have successfully tracked the GPS location. This is the exact location where I'm using this GPS antenna. Now, with the help of this map, we can track the location of this GPS tracker in real time. I'm using the cost battery to power up this tracker. It's already connected to the network and GPS satellites as I can see the current location of my car. Now, I will stand here and watch where my brother takes the car. This is also creating a trick which makes it quite easy to trick and locate the car because in real time we can see which routes the car is taking. As you can see the car has stopped and my brother is now waiting at this location just to check if I can find him or not. So let's go. There is my car. Using this GPS tracker, we can track anything in real time. Next, we'll use the SIM 7600G4G LTE module with a Blink application for monitoring a sensor and for controlling some loads. So consider subscribing if you don't want to miss that video. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.